Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Yes, I have been gone. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on that. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know the whole deal. To make it quick and short and sweet, I actually have been working on my health a lot lately and eating better and eating cleaner and really clearing up my psoriasis because it was like, it was out of control for a minute. It's actually like completely cleared off my elbow, which is crazy. But if you don't follow me on there, you should. I will link all of my socials up here so you can check them out. I do post very frequently on there. But besides all of that, let's go ahead and jump into today's video, which is going to be a favorites video. These are my May monthly favorites slash April because you know I didn't do that one. I personally like to round up products over like a couple of months so I really really know I love them. So these are a lot of brand new things that I haven't really talked about on my channel and I can't wait to share them with you. If you follow me on Snapchat again you've probably seen them on there but this is a roundup of all of my beauty faves and a couple of fashion items and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So if you like favorites videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is a skincare related item. Let's just go ahead and talk about skin first. I've only got like a couple, but this is the Seven Wonders Kalahari Melon Moisturizing Mask by the brand Leaders. I love this mask. I actually had a couple of them in my drawer and I've been using them a lot. Super, super hydrating. I do have dry skin. It left my skin feeling very smooth, very soft, very hydrated. And I really liked this one in particular because I felt like it was a very high quality sheet mask. It actually had like two seals that you pulled off and then the mask was in the center like just soaking in serum and I loved that. So this one says that it deeply hydrates, soothes rough dry skin and it leaves skin dewy and supple and I agree with all of those points. This mask is bomb, smells really nice, feels really nice and I'm a big fan. So let's just keep on rolling with the skin. This next thing is by Pure Cosmetics and is the Hydra Gel Lift. I think that's what it's called. Yes. So this I actually received from Octoly and that's pretty much just a website that a lot of people who do social media can sign up for and link their socials and then they can choose product of their choice and then they'll send it to you to review. So I chose this because I've always been really intrigued by Pure's skincare. I've used a lot of their cosmetics before and they're bomb and I've honestly really heard good things about their skincare. So this is the Hydrogel Lift. It's kind of like a bomb and you actually apply it under your eyes. I actually like to do it before my primer and kind of before makeup and it really helps smooth and hydrate the under eyes and I find it makes your concealer go on so much better. It also gives like this cooling sensation and it feels really, really good and moisturizing. I know I've showed it in a couple of my videos but I didn't really share my thoughts on it yet because it was still very, very new to me. I really love this product. I think if you have very dry under eyes, you would absolutely love this and it also feels really, really nice. So in the summer months coming up, I feel like it's gonna hydrate but also cool at the same time and just overall feel really good on the under eye area. Next up is an oldie but a goodie, and if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I used to love, love, love this, and I honestly hadn't used it in a long time, probably over a year, and I found it in my drawer, and I was like, I used to love that. Why don't I use that anymore? Let me try it. So it is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother, and this is the oil-free one. I originally purchased this because Nicole Guerrero, she was one of the first people I ever watched on YouTube. She always raved about this and I was like I want to try that too. It's a great primer. It's kind of like a dupe for the Smashbox. I think it's like the original clear primer. Just really smooths out your skin, creates that nice barrier between your skin and the makeup, leaves everything lasting longer and applying smoother. So it's literally just clear. If you don't like those silicone primers then you will not like this one. This side has the primer super smooth and this side has nothing on it so you can still see all of those lines on my hand. So that's it for the skin. I just had those three things. The rest of the items are like a lot of highlighters, eyeshadow palettes, brushes, that kind of thing. The item I have to talk about is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. You guys, can we just take a minute? This palette is so good. These highlighters are phenomenal. They blend out so well. They are not glittery. They aren't chunky. They are the most perfect glow. Like every time I wear this, 
everyone is like, what are you wearing on your cheeks? And it's usually Forever Lit, Glow Getter, or Forever Young. This glow kit is so versatile. I think if you are a deep or medium skin tone, it's going to be perfect. And even if you're fair like me, I know I was very hesitant. I can honestly wear all of these shades and it's totally fine. If anything, if something is a little bit too dark, I throw a tiny bit of Forever Lit over top and I am good to go. And I feel like when I travel, this is the only thing I need and I can achieve so many good highlights out of it. I'm just, I'm obsessed, I'm in love. I just, I love it so much. My next beauty favorite has gotta be the Next to Nothing Pressed Powder by MAC Cosmetics. This is the shade Light. I'm actually wearing it to set my makeup right now. I've been using this a ton. I absolutely love this powder because it sets your foundation so beautifully. It almost leaves like an opalescent kind of finish but without accentuating your pores or fine lines or anything like that. It looks like you are wearing a filter with this powder and it's so lightweight. It doesn't really provide coverage so that's what's really nice. It actually sets your makeup beautifully and if you're dry, I know it's really hard to find a powder that doesn't emphasize dryness. This one does not and I just think it gives like the most beautiful, healthy, kind of natural glow to your makeup. Palette and this I believe launched at the end of April. I can't remember, but I've been using it a ton since I got it I did get it on the pre-order and I think it was like 1950 plus tax because I live in the state of California and we have to pay tax on even online orders This is it right here. Absolutely beautiful. I am so glad I got it This is the first thing I've ever tried from BH cosmetics and I was truly truly impressed Let me swatch a couple of my fave shades. So there are a few colors right there The only downside is is there's no name next to the colors, so it's like hard if you're doing a makeup tutorial. The highlight shades too are not glittery or chunky or frosty. The quality is really on point with this one. So these are by Sigma Beauty, and if you didn't know, when I first started my channel, I had one little travel brush set that I ordered from Sigma, I think for like $70, and I thought it was the bomb. Like I started my channel with it, I started working at MAC with that set, and those brushes just never did me wrong. I literally only had, I think like maybe eight of them, and I could create any look with it. These ones I got in the Ultimate Copper Eye Brush Set, which is limited edition, but these brushes just really stand out to me. They kind of take me back, so I wanted to share with you the E25 blending brush, a dupe for the MAC 217. Fits perfectly in your crease. You can pack down color with it. You can blend with it. It is so good. This one is similar to the MAC 224 blending brush, and this one is a taper blending, the E40. This one buffs out color. I lay out a transition color with it. It just never does me any wrong. This next one is actually a new favorite. This one is the E65 small angled brush. I actually love to carve out my eyebrows with this brush. It gets a really clean, nice line underneath, so then I can just buff it out with a flat brush. And then last but not least, I have the Sigma E10 Liner Brush. This one is similar to a MAC 210. It's just a really precise, fine tip liner brush. I used it for my eyeliner today, and I got a really clean line. I actually didn't have to clean this up at all. Normally, I clean it up with an angled brush. It gave me a crisp winged liner. These are brushes that I love. I also really love Sigma because they do give you a two-year warranty on your brush sets and they, you know, if one falls apart, they will take care of you no problem and I think you don't have to spend a lot of money to get some really great brushes that will last you a lifetime. These Sigma brushes are awesome. Like I said, for the longest time, these are the only brushes that I ever had and they just never did me any wrong. So I had to give them a shout out in this video. Stop We've got some more glow to talk about. These are a very affordable affordable glow and I'm actually wearing two of them right now. These I actually received from Octoly and ColourPop as well, complimentary, and I'm so pumped because they're so good, you guys. I am wearing the shade Flexitarian on my cheek right now. I laid this one down first and I was shocked. These are not glittery at all. They are like liquid metal on your cheeks. They're so bomb. So I love this shade. It's actually not too dark to wear on its own either, but I, you know, am extra, so I had to layer glazed over top, kind of like a white vanilla shade. So these are them right here. Super, super beautiful. How gorgeous are those? And then the third shade is the color Scrumptious. This one is kind of like a pink shade. It's so beautiful too. 
I love pink shades like that on my cheeks. These three actually came in a set and it's called the Waffle Highlighting Trio from ColourPop. This one did say it was recommended for fair skin. I believe they had some other trios for medium skin and also a deeper skin. I mean, this is like a high quality highlight for a very affordable price, so I'm super pumped on that. This is from Pop Beauty and it's one of their pure pigments and crystal glitz. Love this for a pop on the inner corner, on the brow bone. You could even throw a little on the cheeks, but it is it is glittery, so be careful. This was like a video of the highlighters. This one is by Melt Cosmetics and it is in the shade Stargazer. I did do a full in-depth video reviewing these, all three shades, but Stargazer definitely stood out to me the most. This one I knew I was gonna be absolutely in love with. It's actually beautiful on medium skin and also fair skin. It's like a second skin, so you don't need a lot of product, but you get a really nice reflective glow. But I won't go too much into this because I do have a full video, so I'll link that down below so you can check it out if you want to know more about these. But I've been totally obsessed with it since I got it. Oh my god, you guys, I literally have another highlighter to talk about. I mean, what can I say? Highlighting is my favorite part of makeup. I have tried a lot of new highlighters lately, and a lot of them I've been really impressed by. This one is another one by Too Faced, and it is the Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in Blinded by the Light. The packaging, adorable. It's the cutest thing ever. It's nice because it is more of a natural highlight. It's very, very pigmented still. You can really build it up. That is it right there. You can see it's not chunky, not glittery. So that's it for highlighters. I promise this time I have two palettes to mention. These are by Dose of Colors and I have the Marvelous Mobs palette and then the Baked Browns palette. I originally bought this one at Namie's, the Baked Browns, because I mean, this is... This is me in a palette right here. Let me show you. Look at that. So beautiful, but I loved it so much. I had to go back for the Marvelous Mauves palette. The formula is really, really great. Super pigmented. I know a lot of people are saying there's a lot of fallout. There is. However, the pigment is like so strong. It's completely worth it. And I think that's why, because the shadows are so soft and so pigmented, you, you get a lot of fallout out of it. They've been really, really great staple palettes. They're very sleek, travel friendly, and super small, but the pan size, and like I said, the pigment is so strong, so you just need a tiny bit of product. A little goes a long way with them. I'm totally in love. Guys, I know I don't talk about mascara a ton on my channel because I wear falsies all the time, but this one just has to be mentioned. It's by Makeup Forever, and it's the Excessive Lash Mascara. The brush is very, very tight, so you can really separate and comb through every lash. Perfect for the lower lashes too, but it also gives you that like volume and length as well. I'm very picky. I don't like flaking, and I don't like too big of a wand. So Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. You guys did it with this one. This is a great mascara. If you're looking for a new one to try that doesn't flake, this is it. It's the Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. It's not sticky at all. It lasts such a long time on the lips and it's so moisturizing. I'm wearing it right now and this is in the shade Peach Fuzz. I especially like this one because it's like a really like kind of nude and you can top off any lip with it and it looks great. So that is it right there, Peach Fuzz. Besides the fact that it is such a perfect nude it is such a perfect formula there's nothing more I hate than really sticky thick clumpy glosses my last this makeup product is a lip liner by NYX and this is the suede matte lip liner this is in the shade sandstorm I personally found that the original NYX lip liners like really dragged and tugged at my lips and I wasn't the biggest fan of them but this one is so good and the color is beautiful I am wearing this on my lips right now I'm just really in love with this formula I can't wait to pick up more shades. I hate when you're applying lip liner and it's like crumbling off. This one just doesn't do that. It's it's a very high quality lip liner for a low price. So this one, super good. I've been loving it. I've been wearing it a ton. Okay, you guys, so that is it for the makeup items. Let's go ahead and jump into a couple of fashion pieces. They are both sunglasses because we're jumping into some warmer weather. The first ones I want to talk about are by Basics Boutique, and these are so special to me because they were gifted to me from my best friend Holly, and this is actually her own line. She's based out of British Columbia, Canada, and she does ship to the U.S. as well, but they are just so cute. They're such great quality, and since they're not too big, they go with a lot of face shapes without being like too much. She does have several, several styles so you can check them out. I'll link her socials down below, but I just, 
I love them. They're actually a gold with like a rose gold lens. I know it's hard to tell the lens color with all of these bright lights happening. I'm obsessed. And if you are in the US, you actually get them a lot cheaper with the exchange rate. And then of course she ships to Canada. These are my newest addition to the High Key family. These are the new High Key Desi Perkins and Key Australia Black Fades. I had to have these. I've been wearing them non-stop since I got them. They're just like, no pictures please, don't talk to me. I love these lenses. All right guys, so that is it for my monthly favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've been loving any of these products that I mentioned or if there's anything new that you've tried recently. Of course, leave it down below and I'll check it out because you know I'm makeup obsessed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me and I will be seeing you guys in a lot of new videos soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ba 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 